day and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing seven Hailey Bieber inspired looks for you. This is going to be a little bit different because there's kind of a curvy and winter slant to it. I'm a size UK 16 to 18, all my measurements are below, as are all of the links. And if I wasn't able to give the exact product, then there will be an affordable dupe there. I hope you enjoy this video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you fancy sticking around. Also, side note, we are in my brand new office. Eee! I'm so happy to be filming in here. I still need to get like lighting and set up right, but even just having this space makes you feel so happy and productive. I will do a tour at some point probably on YouTube and actually I'll do a flat tour as well. Stay tuned to see how a slightly chubby girl can look a little bit like Hailey Bieber. Right, outfit number one. I'm going to wear my glasses and the gold hoops in most of these outfits because that seems to be Hayley's staple. Then I've got this tux jacket on, my See by Chloe bag, just a plain black long sleeve top underneath, these Zara leggings and my Kurt Geiger shoes. I love this outfit because it's all black which is very me and it's comfortable like I feel good in it. I tend not to wear shorter stuff with leather leggings because I feel a little bit self-conscious of the crotch area because I feel like they never really fit that well but with the longer baggier jacket over plus the bag I feel like it kind of covers that for me. Love the bun with the glasses with the um, shoulder pads it's just very like there's a lot of edges up here, which I think is very complimentary to a curvy, curvier form. What do you think of this one? I really like it. Love this outfit. So comfortable. So, like, chic but accessible. And accessible chic is probably the best way to describe the outfits that I've chosen because they're stuff that I already have in my wardrobe but that just looks like put together and cool and so comfortable and practical as well. And I feel like I'm kind of all those things combined mainly chic <laughs> glasses and earrings again just a black hoodie this wool i think it's a wool cashmere blend coat from zara and the lululemon align pants which if you've been watching my channel you will know they are my most worn item in my wardrobe period they are the most phenomenal purchase of my life and i say that without any kind of exaggeration they are absolutely wonderful i will link them below for sure and then these jack and jones trainers which have a little bit of mud at them at the end but they wash so well they look like brand new trainers every single time i wash them they are mega comfortable i actually got them free on a shoot but I'm pretty sure they're still on ASOS, so I will try and link them. Really love this one. And it's mad because, like, this is such a simple outfit, yet I've never put these bits together from my wardrobe. But I think very cool. And I can't tell you how comfortable all of this is as well. Another slight adaptation because I don't have a really long coat. But I think the short vinyl coat works just as well. Black polo neck top. I'm wearing my Chloe bag again. Almost identical gold buckle belt. And I'm thinking that because this is stuff that I've had in my wardrobe for ages, a lot of it will be out of stock. So I will find probably majority dupes in the description bar. But check them out anyway. Blue jeans. These could be a little bluer to properly match the picture. But they're the closest I have. And then these raid boots from ASOS. Which are so comfortable i walk for absolute miles in them i think they were 30 pounds they also do them in a wide fit they are absolutely phenomenal i cannot recommend them enough like the fact they are 30 pounds they are such good value and then the jeans are mum jeans from h&m which are mega comfortable really flatter my figure and they're the kind of jeans that they're so comfortable that i do actually put them on to work from home in and they're mum jeans crazy they're a size 18 outfit four i know everyone and their dog has pinned this outfit before but it is just my favorite easily all black black boots back on with the lululemons back on with this uh is it pvc or vinyl jacket and black hoodie and then for this one i actually changed the glasses and i'm wearing my celine's which i don't have many designer purchases but i do have these and they are unreal they just look so vip <laughs> 
and this is the outfit all black very flattering very simple to recreate i've got these little sock boots as well that just really elongate the legs love it absolutely love it would happily go to like a model casting in this and be like yeah i'm cool a few more variations here i really hope i don't look like a green grape <laughs> But it's quite like there's a lot of puff going on. She's wearing like yellowy orange aviators, which I don't have, but I do have these original aviators. And there was a tonal kind of dressing camel moment that she did, which I couldn't copy because I didn't have the camel stuff. So I thought I would artistic license and um, double up on the khaki, which I actually really like. I think with the aviators, like it works. So I've got this green bomber jacket, khaki hoodie. These are Topshop Jamie jeans black ones. I just think you can't really have a wardrobe without them. And then some chunky white trainers. From the picture, it's such a weird one. It's hard to tell if she's wearing like chunky white trainers or white socks with white sandals. I can't tell. But I do really like this look. I'm thinking it'd be good for going like at the weekend to the market, very low key. Love a bit of tonal, I need to do a bit more tonal. Need to double up on the camel. I've got camel on my little shopping list to get a camel hoodie. Another all black outfit and another black hoodie. I'm sorry, I didn't realize there were so many, but clearly there's a theme, it's a staple. So black puffer jacket, black hoodie. These are from Good American. They're like got a bit of shine to them. I think she's wearing joggers in this picture, but I don't know, joggers and a hoodie, I just, I like one, either my bottom or my top to be tight, if you know what I mean. And then back on with my chunky white trainers with some white sports socks. I'm new to hoodie, like I didn't really own hoodies or at least I didn't wear hoodies before lockdown. I also didn't own or wear chunky trainers or sports socks. I absolutely love them. Also, another thing is when people put those like the bags around them, my sister says it makes me look like I'm a road man, but they are so, they just make so much sense, I love them. Another really comfortable, very practical outfit. I feel like all of this kind of suits lockdown quite a lot as well. I can't get through winter without a puffer jacket. I made them a thing when I was at uni eight years ago and everyone said I looked like Arsene Wenger and now everyone's wearing puffer jackets. The longer, the better. It's just, they are so light, they are so comfortable. They're just phenomenal. And yeah, really comfortable, lovely little outfit outfit number seven so she is wearing a red hoodie i've only got a red sweatshirt this one i actually bought in paris when i was like 20 so i've had it for about nearly nine years now a teddy coat another thing that i haven't worn before lockdown but like like the puffer i think they look good and i think they are so practical and a lot lighter than you think I'm pretty sure she's wearing the max Mara one which would be my dream to own one day black beanie which again just practical great beanies are great aren't they i just next okay um back on with the leather trousers white socks and white shoes again very chic very cool i live in east london so like everyone dresses like this i feel like oh, it's just fun I, like this is kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone and i think if my friends saw me they'd be like what are you wearing but i feel like the more i'm getting older the more i kind of want to experiment with style and East London definitely has an effect on me as well. So this is the final look. Which one is your favorite? I think you've seen like a few of the same pieces in different outfits. So it's not exactly a capsule wardrobe, but it's nice to know you can put different things on rotation and style them in different ways. I just feel like loads of these outfits, you'll already have stuff in your wardrobe that could like lean to these outfits. So that's good because it means you don't need to buy new stuff. Right, I'm hot now. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and it gave you a few little outfit ideas. I wouldn't be surprised if you already had some of the pieces that I've used in this video. So I think it's always really helpful to see how different things can be put together, especially when they're put together by the queen of cool, Hayley Bieber, who is probably about five, six years younger than me. But please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And if you did enjoy the video, please do give this a thumbs up. Let me know what else you want to see. I've got a ton of ideas, but if you have something fresh for me, let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.